Good afternoon and welcome. I'd like to thank you for joining me here at Friendship Moments with Friendship Baptist Church in Killen, Alabama. Let's start with a word of prayer. Dear Father, we thank you for this opportunity to share your word. And Lord, we thank you for your son Jesus that you sent to take our place in your wrath and punishment for our sin to pave the way, Lord, for us to come to you free of sin through his blood and to live for all eternity through his resurrection. Lord, we are complete in Jesus. Help us to remember that. And for those who do not know him as Lord and Savior, Father, I pray that you would send your Holy Spirit powerfully, powerfully, Lord, because time is short and people need to understand how lost they are. Help us, Lord, to share your glory, your word, and your love and truth to those around us. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Matthew 6, 34 says, So do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will care for itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. And 2 Corinthians 12, 9 says, And he has said to me, My grace is sufficient for you, for power is perfected in weakness. We all have those days. Um, you know, nothing goes right. No matter how hard you try, you have trouble at every turn. I had one of those yesterday. For two days, I'd been trying to hang shelves in my room. This should have been very easy for me because I've done it many times before. We built three houses. But nope. Finally, at midnight, the first night, the first two were up. Not good, but at least they were holding the books that I put on them. So last night, I started on the third one. It seemed to go up so much easier and was holding the books. I turned around to clean up the mess and heard a crash. There on the floor was the shelf and four feet of books. Holes were in the wall and a bracket had torn away from the shelf. I wanted to scream. A quick prayer went up from this woman of faith and power. Oh, Lord, why? Then that quiet voice that I'm slowly learning to hear speak said, what did you forget? It took a couple of seconds and Holy Spirit reminded me that he has been teaching me to look to him for guidance even in the small things in my life. I had asked Father God to teach me to walk with him all day, every day, and he's been showing me how. So I asked him to forgive me for ignoring him and ask what to do. In about an hour, the shelf was up, the books were safe, and it looks great. We turned to our father in hard times. I cried out to him when our house burned, when our daughter was in a very serious auto accident, when our son was dangerously ill in the hospital and we didn't know whether or not he was going to live. But to hang a shelf, to ask God to help me hang a shelf, isn't that sacrilegious? God's too big and too important to care about such things, isn't he? No. He says we're his children. And how do children learn? By example, Jesus showed us the Father, by example. By giving us written instructions, he gave us his word. By coming alongside us and instructing, correcting when we make mistakes, by encouraging us. If God knows how many hairs are upon your head, don't you think he cares about every detail of your life and not just the big things? Ask him for help and thank him for doing it. Develop the habit of talking with and listening to him no matter what you're doing. Ask his opinion. Ask him to give you ideas that will work or make your work easier. Tell him the joke that made you laugh. God is your father, your daddy, your best friend, and your Lord. Allow him to be who he is in you and to you. A great relationship is worth working on, and who better to develop a great relationship with than the Creator God? Prepare for the future, but don't worry about it. Your Father is there working in your behalf if you believe Him, and He can do far more in the trials coming your way than you can. Let the God in tomorrow take care of the cares of tomorrow. His grace is sufficient for us in the overwhelming events but it is sufficient when the water heater goes out on the weekend, when the basement floods, when the shelf falls. Allow him to do what he does best, take care of you, day by day, one step at a time. 
1 Peter 5, 6, and 7. Therefore, humble yourselves. That means ask God. Talk to him about it. Under the mighty hand of God, that he might exalt you at the proper time, casting all your anxiety on him, because he cares for you. Blessings. Thank you.